Hello basketball coaches and basketball players, my name is Alan from Al's Basketball Training and today I'm going to show you the 3-2 zone defense. So hello everyone, my name is Alan from Al's Basketball Training. If you're new to this channel, on this channel I show you basketball plays, drills, and skills. So if you like that stuff, hit the like button and subscribe. But anyways, today I'm going to show you the 3-2 zone defense. Now, with the 3-2, I have posted a few of these videos before, but they were only one or two minutes, and they were just kind of brief overviews of what the zone defense is, and what the 3-2 zone defense is. So today I'm going to go a little bit more in depth so let's get down to the clipboard and let's check out the 3-2 zone defense so as we see here this is the 3-2 zone defense obviously red playing defense so in this defense we have player four this would be his zone we have player five this would be his zone we would then have player three and this would be his zone we would have player one and this would be his zone and then we have player two and this would be his zone. Now, as we see here, we have an overlap here. We have an overlap here. We have an over overlap here, overlap here and overlap here. Now, th in those areas, there can be double teams that that happen. So let's pass the ball around and let's see what happens first. If the ball is up top, we want the point guard or the top player to have the ball move either to this side of the court or over to this side of the court. He wants to direct that ball over to that side. Now, if they're running a five out, that's all set and good, but most likely they are going to be running with at least one post player. Now, what happens here if there's players out on this wing one of two things can happen. You can either have players one and three trap that ball because that's one of the areas where there's a, a double possible. And then if that happens, player five needs to move out, player four needs to move in, and player two needs to move in. That way, player two is guarding this whole side of the court. Player four is guarding the post player, and then we also have player five guarding that player out in the wing so that these two players here do not get any open shots at least right away now if this happens where player five doesn't pop out and player three guards down now that's a possibility as well now we need player two to pick off the pass here if there's any passes and he also has to watch the the high post as well now if he watches the high post really well then you can't get any high low passes which is good because that's what a stack offense would do they would come across and now he would have to guard that high post or just have to watch out for the high post as well meanwhile there's a player here which this could really hurt them however we're running it like this. We're not. I'm not showing you today how to beat the 3-2. I'm just showing you how to defend with the 3-2. Now, if the ball goes down to the post, what's going to happen here is player 1 is going to move down. He's going to be watching the high post. Player 2 is going to be watching the cut from the weak side as well as player 4. He's going to be watching that as well. Player 3, he could come down to double team or he could sit up top. A lot of coaches will have him watching both of these players and that's what happens when it gets gets down to that low post now next what's going to happen is if the ball is out on the wing player five may be out to guard him player three might be guarding or at least cutting off the pass from player one player one red might be up top Player 2 will be watching the weak side, and Player 4 might be guarding Player 5. Now that is an option that does leave this whole baseline wide open for backdoor cuts, so that may not be the best idea to do, but a lot of coaches do coach the 3-2 like this. Personally, what I would do is have Player 5 guarding Player 5 and have Player 3 move down, Player 1 guarding Player 1, Player 2 watching any high post cuts because we as a zone defense we do not want any passes or any basketballs in that high post because any high low passes will destroy any kind of zone defense you really want to keep the basketball out of the key 
Now, there is a third option when the basketball does get down there. You could have player 5 and player 3 trapping the basketball. You could have player 4 moving over and player 2 still watching this whole weak side. That is another option that you could run as well. Now, obviously, both sides can be worked the same exact way, so it doesn't matter. You would just basically mirror this on the other side of the court. Now that is the 3-2 zone defense. I hope that you have enjoyed. If you have, hit that like button and subscribe. If you would like, you can share it with your players and teammates as well. This, I hope, gets to help as many players as possible. Anyways, I will see you guys again tomorrow for another basketball plays, drills, or skills video. Hey, basketball coaches. So basically, my defense book it's a defense that is created by myself and tested by many, many different teams. Everyone loves it. As far as I know, everything I have gotten back is great news. Basically, everything from the free throw line and under is a double team. Everything up top is single coverage. If you want to check out this book, go to the link below. It is called The Unbeatable Basketball Defense.